Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Sims Guides. My name is Taylor, for those of you that are new here and may not know, and in today's video we are going to be talking about how you can get the meat wall from The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. This was kind of a big part of their promotional material, there was even a gif where you saw the meat wall being featured, and we didn't actually know how to get it when the game first came out. But thankfully there is a really easy way to do it, you just have to go through the civil designer career. So to get into the civil designer career, you're going to go to join a career like you would any other career in The Sims 4, and you're going to choose civil designer. Now once you get to level four, so after your third promotion, you're definitely going to want to choose the green technician career path. That's because the only way that you can get the meat wall is to go through the green technician path. So you can see that once you're at level five, which is the design guru, you will get the ability to grow cruelty free meat. So to be able to do that once you get to this level of the career, you want to get one of these AOK -OK bloomer vertical gardens. They come in a variety of swatches and look super cute in pretty much any household, so don't worry about that. And once you have these, you can get your sim who is in the civil designer career and has unlocked this ability to click on it and click grow cruelty free meat. So I also wanted to show you guys kind of how you can take care of this cruelty free meat as well as some of the things you can do with it. So there are two options on the meat before it's blossomed and that is to water it or to massage it. Um, ma massaging the meat takes quite a bit of time and looks genuinely hilarious. They rub it a little bit, she gives it a few punches and it's just, it's just a weird one. Once your meat is in the blossoming stage, which you can actually do if if you have testing cheats on enabled and then you can shift click on this and cheat to just get it to be blossoming but once it's blossomed you can sell the meat cube so that's just like selling all on any other gardening or you can harvest them once you harvest them they're going to end up in your inventory and you're actually able to eat these raw which is interesting. Um, you can eat the faux meat cubes and your sims will get the same kind of moodlet that they get when they are eating a regular harvestable so it's a positive happy moodlet so you know there's nothing wrong with that now, if you don't take care of your meat plant, it is going to turn this gross brown color and you're actually able to harvest jerky from this, which you can also eat and it will give you that same kind of harvestable moodlet. So one thing that I find really interesting is that you're actually able to use this cruelty-free meat in a lot of recipes, but it replaces fruits or vegetables. It's not going to replace meat in the recipe particularly, which... I think is a little bit sad, but you can make things like fruit salad and it will take one of your cruelty-free meat cubes from your inventory to make the cost of the salad less, which personally I think is absolutely disgusting, but you know, to each your own. <laughs> um, if it makes you happy, go ahead and do that. So yeah, you can't really make a ton of money by just having cruelty-free meat in your backyard, but it is something that you can eat. You know, if your sim is just really, really into eating things from their inventory, then maybe cruelty-free meat is the way to go for that sim. Now, here's a couple of funny screenshots I took because I really wanted to have my two sims, of course Knox, and his wife that I created um, stand in front of the cruelty-free meat and share a moment together for the thumbnail, and I just thought you guys might get a kick out of these. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, as well as some build videos and gameplay videos as well. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at ultimatesims underscore, and I really hope you're having an awesome day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody!